The University of Illinois posts a record-breaking endowment return. One of the largest tenants in the former John Hancock Center is leaving, and electric pickup maker Rivian, backed by Amazon, reveals a net loss of nearly a billion dollars in its IPO paperwork. Here to go behind the headlines is Crane Chicago business editor Ann Dwyer. Welcome back, Ann. So U of I's endowment has seen years of poor performance, uh, but the close of fiscal year 2021 brought its endowment to a record $3.8 billion. How did that happen? Well, mainly they're riding the updrafts in the stock market that have lifted so many portfolios uh, nationwide. You know, U of I doesn't have as much uh, of its investment money riding on venture capital and private equity as some other schools do. And in fact, I think their returns might have been even better this year if they had. Uh, but having said that, the university's smart investments uh, in its stock portfolio, bonds and other types of investments, coupled with a major uh, fundraising campaign, as well as an infusion of federal cash in the wake of the pandemic, seem to have all combined to lift the school's financial fortunes, uh, at least for right now. And, and the school is saying that they're looking to try to, to duplicate those efforts in the coming years. So the former John Hancock Center's largest tenant, SMS Assist, uh, has announced that it's moving out. Where is it headed and why is this a significant move? Well, they're heading to Pru Plaza, Prudential Plaza, and that's significant because the building recently lost uh, its uh, major tenant, the Chicago Tribune, uh, and SMS will now be Pru Plaza's largest tenant. Uh, but more broadly, uh, this move, Brandis, signals there's still some tenant interest in the East Loop at a time when all the momentum in the downtown office market seems to be inexorably marching west. Just today, we got word uh, that the PR giant Edelman is abandoning its longtime headquarters at uh, the Aon Center right next door to Pru Plaza. And where are they going? They're going west to uh, Canal Street, uh, just, uh, just west of the river. So that's just part of that longtime march that seems to be happening uh, in the loop toward uh, the West Loop and Fulton Market. Okay, we'll see what happens there. And lastly, electric truck maker Rivian says it lost nearly a billion dollars in the first half of the year at a time when the market for electric vehicles is so hot. What's going on there? Well, a growth plan as ambitious as Rivian's is bound to cost big bucks. And that's really uh, what's happening right now. You know, Rivian is just now starting to roll product off its assembly line in downstate normal. Uh, but in the meantime, they've got a lot of building and infrastructure to put in place. They are built in the process of building out service centers uh, in several states, including Illinois, uh, as well as a nationwide network of charging stations to, to service these vehicles. Um, and, you know, that said, backers like Amazon and Ford Motor Company don't seem to be scared off by a billion dollar burn rate at Rivian right now. In fact, the same filing that disclosed this, uh, this loss also gave a lot more details about Amazon's uh, deal with Rivian. Uh, they are standing to receive uh, for four years exclusive rights to Rivian's delivery vehicles. And that's all going to help uh, Amazon to meet its own carbon neutral goals. Billion dollars, not scared off, wow. <laughs> and wire, uh -huh. thanks so much. Thank you.